Africa, the cradle of humanity, is a continent of immense diversity. From its vast savannas to its snow-capped mountains, it captivates us with its beauty. But beneath its surface, a dramatic transformation is underway. In 2005, a 35-mile-long crack appeared in the Afar region of Ethiopia. This event marked the birth of a potential new ocean. The Afar region lies at the junction of three tectonic plates, the Arabian, Nubian and Somali plates. These plates are slowly moving apart, stretching the Earth's crust. As the crust thins, it fractures, creating rifts. The 2005 crack was a dramatic manifestation of this ongoing process. The rift is not a sudden rupture, it is the result of millions of years of tectonic forces. The Arabian plate has been moving away from Africa for about 30 million years. This movement created the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Now the same forces are splitting Africa apart. The East African Rift System is a vast network of valleys, volcanoes and lakes. It stretches for thousands of kilometers from Mozambique in the south to Ethiopia in the north. The rift marks the boundary between the Somali and Nubian plates. The two plates are moving apart at a rate of about 7 millimeters per year. This may seem slow, but over millions of years, it adds up. As the plates continue to separate, the rift will widen and deepen. Eventually, it will become flooded by seawater. The formation of a new ocean is a slow and gradual process. It takes millions of years for the rift to widen enough to become an ocean basin. But the geological evidence suggests that this is exactly what is happening in East Africa. The volcanic activity in the East African rift system is a testament to the powerful forces at work. Like Erta Ale in Ethiopia and Olduinyo Lengai in Tanzania erupt lava that provides clues about the Earth's interior. The composition of this lava suggests that it originates from deep within the Earth's mantle. The lava that erupts at mid-ocean ridges where new oceanic crust is formed the presence of a unique geological feature called the Victoria microplate further complicates this story. This small and counterclockwise within the rift system. The Victoria microplate's rotation adds another layer of complexity to the ongoing tectonic dance. The formation of a new ocean in Africa will have a prominent geography and ecosystems. Coastal countries like Kenya and Tanzania will gain vast new coastlines. Landlocked countries like Zambia and Uganda may eventually have access to the sea. While the geological evidence for a new ocean in Africa is compelling, the future is not set in stone. The Earth's tectonic plates are in constant motion and their interactions can be unpredictable. It is possible that the forces driving the rift could change, slowing down or even reversing the separation. Scientists continue to monitor the East African rift system closely, using a variety of techniques to study the movements of the Earth's crust. They are eager to learn more about the processes that shape our planet. The formation of a new ocean is a rare and awe-inspiring event. It is a reminder of the immense power of nature and the ever-changing face of our planet. The future of Africa's new ocean remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. The Earth is a dynamic and ever-evolving planet, and we are fortunate to be witnesses to this incredible geological drama.